So this is uh, this is Jordan Tao with JT News. Uh, let's wrap this up. And if this is your first video of the day, I appreciate you so much. Let's get right into the news. Well, Drake comes through with a stimulus package for DJ Khaled and gives him another one? Another two? No. <laughs> he misses twice, okay? I don't care how many these sell. It's not another one, okay? These are probably... These are pretty bad, okay? So the beat on Popstar and the beat on Grease is fire. So I get Khaled could only do his job and deliver good beats. It's not like he's making the beat, but he's the executive producer. He's the A&R. He's picking the beats, okay? He puts the producer with the artist, okay? Drake came through hoping that he was going to make some hits with Khaled. His last album or whatever it was, the, the the demo tapes late at night, whatever it was called, it was cool. It was great to get during the, the whole uh, CV thing that's still going on. Got a couple good songs on there, um, you know, but it wasn't crazy. Scorpion wasn't crazy to me. I don't care what you guys say. It wasn't crazy. But Drake is still Drake, okay? He's got the golden touch. So on Popstar, he comes on sounding like Smoke Perp. Like, straight up. You know, it's like, what do you... Dude, you sound like that song he has with Little Pump. What's that song called? Uh, Smoke Perp, Little Pump. Now, I know that Little Pump and, uh, and Smoke Perp, they... Uh, I'm sorry. Little uh, Smoke Perp and Drake, he had something to do with Scorpion, okay? Because Drake, like, tweeted him and everything. And I was like, all right, cool. What's his song? Nephew. Sounds just like he sounds on Nephew. You know, it's like, come on, dude. Dude. You sound like Smoke Perp on the hook, okay? Unless Smoke Perp wrote the hook. I mean, you know, we don't get credits anymore. So who knows? Then, you know, Drake does his thing on the verses, okay? Drake can rap. Drake's trying new things right now. I'm, I'm noticing that he's trying to change his style. I get it, okay? He's been in the game for what? More than 11 years, but he's been on for 11 years. You know how hard it is, probably, to be on for 11 years and not missing for all those years? He's starting to miss. You're going to have to miss. You're going to have to have a bad year. And I think this is Drake's bad year. But I think he'll recover. Drake's not someone that's just going to go away. Uh, the Grease song. Sounds kind of like Playboy Cardi. I might be honest with you. Okay. Uh, Playboy Cardi and Drake were working on something. Was it this? Is Drake getting assistance on these tracks? I mean, what's going on here? Like, I want some clarification. Okay. Because if it's going to sound that obvious, at least get the credits on Instagram or something. Because we don't get actual credits anymore. Now, DJ Khaled is DJ Khaled. He's, you know, leeching on to people and, you know, selling millions of records. I don't know what deal he has worked out. I haven't known Khaled for, you know, nine years now, you know. Still owes me $2,500. <laughs> but... You know, we'll see what goes on here. I don't know. Maybe they'll shoot a video to it. Maybe not. Maybe that's why he's in Barbados. I don't know. But these are two misses, I'm going to be honest. Like, the beats are good, but I'm not listening to these, man. I'm sorry. It's just, it's not it. These aren't it. These aren't it, my G. Drake's been leaking a lot of records, too. Somebody leaked the record with Roddy Rich, which is cool. It's a cool record. But they should have, that should have been the record DJ Khaled got. That Roddy Rich record. That would have went. That would have went more than these. There's a Roddy Rich and Drake record on the internet right now. I have it somewhere. <laughs> I know I got it. I know, I know. Yeah, I don't, I, I'm just like lost, man. It's like, how are you going to, you, you can drop some decent ones. But like the quality control is just... It's getting spooky, my G. I'm going to be honest with you. It's getting weird. Um, anyways. 
That's it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go in on this anymore. Um, I don't know the song he has with Roddy Rich. I forget which one it was. It was good though. It was good. So look it up. Drake and Roddy Rich. There's only one. Drake, Roddy. In the cut. Fire. Okay. So anyways, guys. You know, tomorrow's what Friday. It's today's Friday. Finish the week strong. There's a lot going on out here. I don't know what to say today. All I can say is wake up every day and try your best and forget about the past and forget about your problems. Just get to it, okay? It's hard. I got back to working out recently. It really does help, okay? There's endorphins that come out when you start working out. I'm eating better. I'm feeling better. When you feel better, you can do your best. When you feel sluggish, you can't really do that much. I've been reading more books. I've been feeling uh, better, okay? So I can't stress enough to put good good stuff in your mind, good stuff in your body, and work out. Get out there and try your best. There's not there's a lot of weird things going on right now with this whole CV thing. Politicians. They're trying to keep us from working. But still be safe. Wear a mask, you know. But try to get a job. Don't just sit back and not do anything, okay? If you're at home and things aren't working, keep trying, okay? Because if you don't keep trying, (laughs) you're going to end up messed up, okay? You got to go out kicking and screaming out here, okay? You got to really try to succeed. You got to get a job and you got to make money. Don't wait for everything to just stop. But I hope you got ahead with If you were getting unemployment and you were getting extra money, I hope you saved it. And I hope you didn't spend it, you know. I hope you hold on to your money. That's the biggest thing in 2020 is to hold on to your money. We don't know what's going on. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to sit here and sugarcoat it. I don't know what's going on. All I know is work your tail off. And save as much money as you can, Okay. Uh, Not to scare you, just get through this year. Get through the election, then I think things will start to, like, make more sense after that. You know, these politicians, they don't care about us. None of them. None of them. I don't care about the mayor, the senator, the governor. They don't care about us. They care about themselves, okay? And they care about virtue signaling. All of them. I don't care who it is. So worry about yourself, okay? Be safe. You know, stay within the law, be safe, get a job, do all the good things. I appreciate you guys. And I only say these things because I love you, okay? And I want you, I love you as a human being, no matter who you are, what you are, whatever, okay? We're all human beings. We're the same. I appreciate you guys. I hope you guys have a great day. And don't let them separate us, okay? I'm getting sick of seeing all these blogs and everything they're trying to separate us by race and everything and religion and this bro we're all the same i don't care what color you are what religion you are we are human beings okay (laughs) treat other human beings how you want to be treated point blank period don't let them think that things are unfair because of this and that yes there are stereotypes out here i will not lie to you but you know what got to love each other we got to be beyond that i try to be beyond that every day and you should too okay because you know we got to be kind to each other as much as possible unless someone tries you that's different okay then keep that person away from you bad energy don't don't react don't let them get you out of character keep it moving i appreciate you guys be safe i love you guys i know this was kind of like a rant but i just want everyone to be safe i want everyone to be successful I want everyone to feel good. I love you guys.